We sort of knew Android is everywhere in the smartphone market, but this takes it a step further, a big step further. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. They've taken these huge volumes of, of devices that they sell with smartphones and tablets and they kind of turned this into a big win for them by basically having all the component makers in Asia, the guys who make the chips, the touch screens, every bit and piece, you know, they're always tuning their hardware for Android. I, is this because Google is making other things a priority or because Android is actually better? Yeah, at, I mean, this is sort of taking on a life of its own. Basically, because Android is open source, meaning anyone can grab it and alter it, and Google sort of lets people do that and doesn't charge people for Android, it's all these other guys, that, these other device makers and software developers that are taking it on their own and sort of bending it into these new devices. So what are some of the more surprising devices that we're going to see? Yeah, I mean, you've got things like guns that are sort of self-aiming and guided and send pictures to These Facebook exist. of what you've blown up. There's refrigerators. The, the cars are pretty serious. There's a, a Chinese car maker that has an Android-based car. There's also an American startup called Cloud Car that's building like a little Android-based device um, for like infotainment systems in cars. There's, uh, there's all sorts of appliances and, and, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. There's, there's like literally thousands of other products. So is is this a threat to Apple or, or, or is it Microsoft here? Yeah, it's sort of both of them. Microsoft, since like 1996, has made an operating system that sort of caters to this sort of market, the Internet of Things, all these smart devices. And it's done really well. It's in cash registers and screens and things like that. But now, you know, because Google's giving away Android and because sort of young developers seem to be flocking to it, it's outflanking Microsoft, and then Apple, you know, just keeps everything in its own world. Apple doesn't let other people run its software, so um, you know, it doesn't seem to like want to participate in this place. So we saw Tim Cook speaking at D11 a couple of days ago. You know, obviously wearable computing is going to be a hot spot. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a race between Apple and Google, and, and maybe Microsoft too. But is Apple falling behind in the Internet of Things? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So you've got like the Apple devices, and then you've got all these peripherals that connect to iOS devices and talk to them, like a Fitbit or a, or a LED light from Philips or something like that. So Apple's doing okay there, but I mean, it does seem to me like Android is such a part of this huge electronics ecosystem and, and it's sort of like this, this train is just running away now that, you know, they seem to have a big edge.